So in this little tutorial I want to show you a little bit more about how I use Divisimate together with Cubase and I'm going to do some real-time composing and recording switching back between the Divisimate app itself and Cubase to show you how I use the presets and how I set up my tracks for recording and writing. So this tutorial will not be so much about how the Divisimate app works uh, and the next media YouTube channel is great for learning the, the basics and the, the advanced features of Divisimate. And uh, the next media web page is also full of resources and actually a lot of very, very good presets that you should download if you have the app yourself. Uh, I will, however, make a video about how to use existing scores and reading the instrumentations and then converting them into Divisimate presets so you can actually listen to classics and then you can you know, recognize some uh, uh, orchestral devices that you really want to have in your own template and then transferring them then into the Divisimate system. But that is for later. So when you go into the Divisimate app you will see that my setup of instruments is more or less the same as within Cubase itself. Starting with uh, woodwinds, then the brass and the strings. Uh, the same is outlined here. So also for each instrument there is a port number. So for example for clarinet 1 I have assigned it to port number 7. So if I go into clarinet number 1 in my DAW you will see that it's also set to port number 7. So what we see here is both instruments outlined with yellow color and instruments outlined with a blue color. So the uh, yellow color highlights the instruments I've chosen for the melodic material. And this is the range on the keyboard that I can use to play the melodic material. So I'm also using a breath controller to control this. Uh, so I cannot talk while I play, but you can still listen and see the keys I'm pressing. So the other instruments playing the harmonic material, the chords, are marked with blue lines. And this is clarinet 1, bassoon and contrabassoon, and the rest of the instruments in the strings family without the contrabasses. So here I have another preset and it's from Next MIDI, the manufacturer, and it's called Low Strings and Brass and it's an open voicing. So to be able to use this I have to choose uh, trombones, bass trombones and tuba, and violas, celli and double bass. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's have a look at some other presets as well. In the mixed section there are many many good ones. Uh, one of my favorites is this strings open and horns preset. Beautiful. So let's uh, see one more. For example, the um, very complex one. This is made by myself and it's flutes, clarinets, horn one, trumpet one, and the whole strings family. So we have to choose a lot of stuff here.
So first I'm going to lay down some high strings and I've chosen the violins 1, violins 2 and violas and chosen a preset that includes those instruments. So this is how the MIDI looks and I'm going to just assign some expression map settings to them. I'm going to use the concertino setting for these strings I think. Maybe actually playing tremolos for the violas. Let me check how that sounds. That's good. So now if I want to, I can just transfer these settings into any other instrument actually because the setup and expression mapping is so similar. So I want the uh, violas to be played by the alto flute and the high violins one I want to be played by the flute. Great, so now I will add some harp. Maybe without this first section. So far so good. I'm also going to add some pizzicato strings to the beginning. So I want the low brass and the low strings to answer this higher part from the strings in the beginning. Okay, then I'm going to add some percussion. And then also add some small percussion.
So the last things I'm going to do before finishing up is to copy these voices from violins into the solo voices. And now I'm going to play the track without uh, this constrained delay compensation so we can utilize all the plugins and reverbs I have on top of the, the contact instances so we can enjoy full quality. <laughs> 